At IPC, we offer non-surgical cardiac treatments like EECP and ACT. Though EECP constitutes major bulk of our treatment, but we do offer ACT in selected cases. What is ACT? ACT stands for Arterial Clearance Therapy. This is a treatment for blocked arteries. Very often patients ask us questions that I have got blockages 80%, 90%, 100%. Can we remove these blockages? Is it possible? Let me answer you. We have done research studies and we have done repeat angiographies. Total removal of blockages is not possible. Very often we find nowadays a lot of uh, campaigns going on that one can you know, dissolve the blockages or remove the blockages. There are various oral medicine available or IV available, but that is not so. We have done repeat angiographies and we have documented that the blockages could be reversed. That is, in comparative studies, we have seen that a 90% block can become a 70% or a 60% or sometimes a 60% block is even removed. But when there are multiple blockages, to expect a normal angiography after the treatment is not possible. So let us not have unrealistic expectations that when we will do treatments like this, all our blockages are going to go away and there is going to be a normal angiogram. And very sad, we have seen that a lot of patients do this kind of treatments elsewhere and where they are overpromised and underdelivered, they undergo repeated angiographies just to keep on checking their blockages, which is often waste of time, money and unnecessary and moreover trauma and complications to your body. At IPC, we clearly tell the patients before we begin the treatment that what could be expected out of giving EECP or ACT. In ACT treatment, we give 20 intravenous saline drips over a span of 3 months. Generally, we give twice a week or even sometimes once in a week or once in a 15 days depending on the cases. In these drips, the main ingredients are EDTA, and antioxidants. Antioxidants are very important because the root cause of the blockages is endothelial dysfunction. That means that the internal lining of the arteries of the heart is damaged. I will give you a simple example that whenever we cook on a simple uh, tawa you know, or a pan, uh, it can stick, you know, the food can stick. But if we have a Teflon coating, the food does not stick. Similarly, if the internal lining, that is the endothelium, is strong, then the blockages cannot be made. So what this antioxidant therapy basically do, it strengthens the uh, internal lining of the arteries of the heart. Another simple layman example could be like a anti-rust which we do on the cars. Like how the iron uh, gets bad, you know, gets oxidized. So similarly, there are free radicals which we keep on taking through the pollution, through the atmosphere or if people are smoking or stress or irregular sleep uh, or adequate uh, sleep is not being met plus junk food, all this generates free radicals in our system which damages the internal lining of the arteries of the uh, heart and also the whole body. When we give this intravenous drips, it basically goes and scavenges this free radicals and throws them out through the kidneys. There are many misconceptions related to this therapy that it can damage the kidneys and it can worsen, which is false. At IPC, we have a technical collaboration with uh, uh, Arterial Disease Clinic England uh, and we have seen that when proper case selection is done, all the investigations uh, which are done properly before giving the treatment, right doses are administered, we can get wonderful results. It is like, you know, uh, when we are cooking food, if the uh, uh, gas, you know, the stove, the fire is too hot, it can burn the food. If it is less, the food will not be cooked. The right heat and the temperature is important. Similarly, the medicines also, it has to be given the right dose. If the medicines are not given in the right dose, definitely wrong effects can happen, which can happen with any other therapy also. So let's remove the fear and the misconceptions related to this therapy. It is safe. It is very very beneficial and it increases the blood supply not only to the heart but other parts of the body also. Very often we have seen uh, it in the western countries people using this therapy for anti-aging 
as it uh, improves the skin uh, tone, uh, the fairness, it increases the hair growth and there are a lot of other therapeutic benefits also. So dear friends, I am sure by now you must be quite clear about uh, arterial clearance therapy. Uh, we have written a book with uh, Dr. Cranton uh, from USA from Harvard Medical School, Bypassing Bypass Surgery and this book is also available and has got complete details about this therapy which you wish to know right from the technical to the case studies to all the evidence. Thank you.